this is Alika Mattis, and today I'm going to show you to play White Death by Sabaton. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's an A. So the first thing that we got to know about this song is that it's in the key of G minor. Now the notes of G minor are G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. Now, occasionally you'll see an F sharp, and that means that it's harmonic minor. Um, you know, particularly like on the five chord and stuff like that, where it uh, becomes like a major chord. So, um, but we'll get into that later. So the notes again are D, So the first riff starts on a G power chord on the third and fourth strings, right here. See this? So your ring finger will go on strings 3 of fret 7, and your first finger will go on strings 4 of fret 5. Okay, so that's the first, that's the first chord. So what you got to know about this uh, riff is that it's actually voice-led dyads right on that string set. And so when it comes to uh, a lot of these different kinds of power chords, it's pretty much going to stay on the string sets 3 and 4, uh, you know, strings 3 and 4, that, that string set, and then also the string set for 4 and 5, and occasionally you're going to get the E. So it goes like this. So basically I'm doing a little trill there on uh, frets uh, 11 and 10 um, on the second string. So it's my first and uh, second finger. And I'm landing on the 10th uh, uh, fret of the third string. See? And then... So it jumps up here to uh, frets 10 and 12. And it jumps back to uh, fret 5, back to G again. Alright, so the end of the intro riff, or really the main riff, it uh, ends with a sus chord, a sus 4. And so basically it's going sus to 5, and then it's uh, resolving from five then to one when you start playing the riff again. That kind of thing. So you're getting that five to one resolution, and which is very common in music. So because of the major five chord, or really dominant five chord, resolving in a minor key to one, uh, it can really be considered a harmonic minor instead of natural minor. So let's go ahead and run over the harmonic minor scale. So the notes in this case are the So really, the only thing that's raised is the seventh. Some of you guys might be wondering what's going on with my right hand during this whole time. Basically, I'm tremolo picking 16th notes. Now, the very common metal technique, I'm uh, palm muting uh, uh, the strings, and I'm going... I'm just alternate picking the string over and over again. And, you know, during certain rhythmic hits, I'm going to go ahead and strum, um, you know, with the voicings coinciding with the left hand. So, um, you know, you just kind of have to listen to it and learn it. And, uh, uh, it, but it kind of sounds like this. So the, the thing that you got to know now is what's going to happen in, this, uh, in the other guitars, because there's two guitars in Sabaton. So when it comes to the other guitar, really the only difference is instead of the trill, they're doing this. On the first time, and then at the end, you're going like this. Instead of... Instead of doing the high one, you're doing a lower one. The same chord, same resolution, and everything like that. When it comes to the voicings with the uh, left hand here on guitar number two, basically all it is, is if, if you look really cl uh, carefully, is that you're having a uh, B-flat uh, power chord. It's an inverted power chord, so the root's not in the bottom. It's on string sets uh, five, uh, four and five. And, um, and then you have a major third there. 
and then you're ending with another inverted power chord, but this time on string sets five and six. And that's an F chord. See? So, um, so. And then the other one is. And then. So what that is, is it stays there on string sets uh, four and five. And, and basically what's happening is you have a, another inverted power chord, which is a G. It, it's kind of like the sus4 up here. You know what I mean? You know, but it's down here and it's condensed um, to just having the root and then the sus4. That resolution there. All right. Altogether, guitar two sounds like this. So the next riff is the verse riff. Now basically on the verse riff, it's following the same rules as the first riff. And uh, basically you're just um, riffing around in G minor on the strings three and four, playing with the uh, uh, different uh, dyads, uh, voice led dyads in that key. So let's go ahead and I'll just play it real slow. <laughs> When it comes to the verse riff, the second guitar part goes. So really the only difference is you're going from E flat to B flat to F. So. So now we're going to go to our pre-chorus riff, and what that is, is... Alright, so it starts with a um, B-flat major dyad, and uh, that's how it's functioning right now, and it's going to go to a C minor dyad. So, it's going to... so it's going from string sets 4 and 5, and 5 and 6. And then now you're going to see the octaves like earlier. And then the pre chorus riff ends with. And it's basically going from um, 5 to 1 to 5 again. See? So the next part is the bridge riff. And basically what it is, is it's more voice led power chords and strings three and four. But the difference is that you're gonna be mainly here around the 12th fret. So here's the riff really slow. So basically it ends with the notes in the G minor scale. So that's the next riff that we have is kind of near the end of the song and it's going to uh, be a G power chord. But in this case it's a three note power chord. Now it's, it's really still two notes but you're playing the octave plus the fifth. So basically it's root, fifth, and an octave. So right there on uh, strings two, three, and four. It's G. 
we're gonna go down a whole step and go Go back up and then E flat, B flat, F again, like before. So then uh, we're gonna end with this riff. And then we just end with that G power chord. So when it comes to guitar two during this section, it's basically gonna play octave. So it sounds like this. about it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys liked the video. If you want to see a lesson for the guitar solo, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.